And I'm Alicia Zakoff. I'm the Sustainability Manager from Richmond, Virginia. And I'm going to talk a little bit about our uh, recycling program in Richmond, our community recycling program. And the, um, what I want to talk a um, little bit about, just give you a little background um, on our sustainability program in Richmond really quickly, is our uh, program is fairly new. It's less than two years old in Richmond. And I think it's important, based on the conversation we were having yesterday, um, pull out a thread from that, which is we've been hearing a lot about a lot of the great programs from some of the bigger cities in the country, San Francisco and their recycling program, New York, and uh, some of the things they're doing. But there are a lot of uh, smaller cities in all across the country and a lot of uh, cities with fairly new programs like Richmond. So I think um, this will be a great example of maybe uh, some of the majority of the cities around the country that are um, doing a lot of great things, which I'm going to highlight, but also struggling with some of the other parts of their program. So hopefully that will be informative in that respect for you. So in the uh, less than two years, we've um, been trying to catch up pretty quickly with a lot of our efforts. We've done a baseline greenhouse gas emissions inventory for our community and government operations. We've created a sustainability office, which is really just myself, our sustainability manager, and an energy Energy manager. We've also had our mayor launch a Green Richmond initiative, which is an umbrella initiative for all of our sustainability efforts. We've uh, just recently had our mayor uh, issue a green government order, which is essentially a sort of a uh, umbrella wish list of everything we're going to accomplish for our city government that includes a fuel and energy reduction goal, um, implementing a green procurement policy, an anti-idling policy, and a telework and uh, alternative work schedule initiative. And then also we We've just recently launched our planning process for our sustainability plan. So we're really doing a lot of great things, but one of the things that we're struggling with is our uh, recycling program, which has actually been around for um, many years before we started our sustainability initiative. And in Virginia, we have a, uh, all localities have a mandate to recycle 25% of their solid waste. Um, so that's um, been in place for a while. And so our program in Richmond, we provide curbside recycling for single family homes and also for multifamily uh, units of less than four units. And we also provide drop-off locations around the city for, for other uh, units that we don't provide the service to. So we have um, about 60,000 households that we provide service to, and then we have five locations around our city. So what are some of our challenges and sort of the framework that we operate in? Well, um, Virginia has uh, overall, not just in the Richmond area, very low uh, fees for its uh, solid waste, landfill fees. Um, I don't know if you're fam familiar, but Virginia is, one is an actually a net importer of trash. Um, we unfortunately operate some, a lot of landfills in our state. And so the difference for recycling and for solid waste is about a $50 difference. It costs $50 more a ton to recycle than it does to actually um, landfill it. So that's one of the issues we're dealing with. Also, uh, in our city ourself, we charge a very pretty low fee for solid waste. For $17.50 a month, we provide our uh, each household up to four trash cans, four super cans, and also there's no extra fee to uh, get rid of any bulk waste. So that's a significant challenge when you're talking about try to, trying to incentivize recycling. Also, we provide weekly pickup for trash, but only bi-weekly pickup for recycling. So it's certainly more um, uh, easier to throw your trash out every week versus putting it out and thinking about uh, scheduling for your uh, pickup for your re recycling. And then one of the biggest issues, I think, if, if you look at this and look at the bins for recycling in the trash cans is one of our biggest challenges is size really does matter. So what are the results of this? Well, one of the positive things is we've had an increase in our recycling tonnage over the years, a, a steady increase in the past few years, which is good. Um, but when you compare us, and these are just the names of some of our uh, immediate neighbors in, in Richmond, our area, you can see that our um, participation rates are lower than some of our localities. So we wanted to take a look and see what were some of the drivers of that. Why are we uh, seeing a lower participation rate? So we had our, um, we were actually participating in a regional contract for our recycling uh, with some of 
with those other localities that you saw. So they uh, commissioned a study that was done by one of our local universities and did a telephone interview and then followed up with some focus groups for non-participants and looked at actually some of the areas in the city that had the lowest participation rates for those focus groups. And what they found out were some interesting things uh, in terms of how folks looked at and perceived recycling. And they actually connected it more with, um, with sort of issues involving waste and trash versus uh, what we think of as being environmentally responsible and doing the right thing. So there are a lot of perception issues around recycling that need to be addressed in our community. And also availability. There were issues about not knowing how to, how to get recycling uh, bins and how to, how to just figure out the whole uh, issues around how do I recycle and how, to, how is it available in my area. And then also um, people felt like it was a burden to um, put the recycling bin out. Well, my trash I just take out to the curb every week, but I have to remember to take the recycling bin out every other week, and that's a, that's a burden for me to do that. And then another concern was about um, aesthetics and leaving the recycling bin out, and what if I leave it out too long, and maybe somebody's going to come by and take the recycling out and out in my yard, and it's going to be uh, unattractive and that kind of issue. So some of the um, feedback suggestions, I'm, I'm at the end of my time, so I'll cut it off, but these were some of the suggestions to help improve our service. So just wanted to give you an idea of a, of a locality that's struggling, and uh, thank you very much.